Hey guys, John Etog here, and in this video, I'll cover how to set a timeout or intervals inside a loop in JavaScript. Now, let's say we have this code here, and we want the loop to run five times and print i to the console in each iteration once every two seconds. If we run this code, the loop waits for a couple of seconds, then prints out all five iterations at once. The set timeout is used at the start of the code, but then after the two seconds, everything is printed out at once. If we run this code again, just to look at it one more time, we see that there's a two second delay as specced out by the set timeout method, but then all five console logs are printed out at the same time. That is not what we want. We want our code to console log i once, then wait for two seconds, then print out the second i, then went, uh, sorry, wait for another two seconds, and so on until all five iterations are completed. And the way to accomplish this is by doing the following. Instead of using a loop, we use a counter with an if statement like so. And I'm just going to comment this out for now. We'll initiate a counter, we'll call it i, set it to 0, then we'll create a function, we'll call it my function, just to be real creative. We'll pass in a parameter i, then we'll put our set timeout method inside it. I'll cover how to use the set interval method as well in just a bit, and then we'll place our console log i ins inside of that set our time delay of two seconds or 2,000 milliseconds. Now we can put the two second delay in a variable and pass it in my function as a parameter if you want to. That would make the function more usable, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like that. So then we'll add a postfix operator. And this is to create a counter for our iterations. And to get our five iterations, we add an if statement like so. We do if i is less than five, then run my function one more time. If i has reached five, then we'll just console log done. Now to run this, we'll just need to call our function. Now let's run it. And as we can see, the iterations are coming in one at a time and two seconds apart, and there are five of them, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, the same concept works with the set interval method. The only difference is that the set timeout method only runs once. So to get five iterations, we need to make it one more times, five in this case. The set interval method, on the other hand, runs indefinitely in preset intervals, so we need to make it stop running after a certain amount of times, five in this case. So our code will look something like this. And I'm just going to comment this out this time. We'll set i equal to zero. Now for the set interval method, we don't need to wrap everything inside a function. Now we can if we want to, but we don't have to. We just need to set a variable, we'll call it interval to the set interval method put the console log i inside it and the post fix operator then we add our if statement except this time instead of checking if the counter is under five we want to check if it has reached our five times limit so we do if i equals five now we have to make the set interval method stop running and we do that by using the clear interval method like so and then we give it interval for argument after that we can just console log done let's not forget to add our two second time delay but we'll run the code and we see that our iterations are coming in two seconds apart and there's five of them. 
And that's it. That's one way to set a timeout or intervals inside a loop in JavaScript. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.